So guys, uh, what I mean to say is lipoproteins and fatty acid synthesis is a very important topic, especially the lipoproteins. So in this next question, in this era of natural supplements, medication, toxicity remains a major cause of concern. Biotransformation of drugs are a major function of liver. Drug-induced liver injury can be serious enough to cause fulminant hepatic failure, resulting in the death or liver transplantation. Which of the following vitamin toxicity can present with the above presentation? So guys, vitamin are very important topics. Vitamin deficiency, we all remember most of the time, but toxicity, only few vitamins are toxic. Which is the very toxic vitamins like niacin, then we have B6, vitamin D, vitamin A. So these are very few names which are toxic vitamins. So guys, in this case, there is hepatic failure and the answer is niacin. So guys, niacin presents with the various complications and the names of these complications are like increase in the glucose concentration, then you know guys, U for uric acid is increased, liver failure and flushing, okay. And uh, you know, we can remember this mnemonic as Gulf and we can remember Gulf of Mexico, Mexico for the macular cyst, right. In this case, it will be macular cyst. Fine guys. So, niacin. Now, talking about other toxicities. See, in the water-soluble vitamins, very few are toxic. B6 is also toxic and that causes neuropathies, right. And niacin causes all these toxicities. I told you high glucose, uric acid, fine. Hyper uricemia and uh, then the liver failure and the full, uh, flushing, right. Mexico for the macular cyst, right guys, macular cyst. Now vitamin K is also toxic that causes hemolysis, fine. Vitamin A is a teratogen and it also causes lysosomal membrane damage. Pantothenate is non-toxic vitamin. Right guys, so these are the toxic vitamins. Vitamin E can be toxic in a way that it causes the decreased activity of vitamin K or the platelet aggregation. Moving to the next question, a five-month-old previously healthy boy presented with the acute onset of prolonged recurrent scissors activity followed by neurodevelopmental deterioration, concurrent hair shaft hyperpigmentation of the fragility, initial test revealed significant low serum copper and ceruloplasmin. Okay, guys, one of the important finding and uh, tortuosity of intracranial vessels means there is a defect in collagen. In addition, a genetic defect, ATP7A gene. So, guys, this question is very simple, though the language is maybe difficult in the sense of like it's long paragraph, you know, but the hints, there are three hints I have. So, most important hint out of all is ATP7A gene and low copper. So guys, what is the disease caused by the low copper? Answer is Mankey's disease, okay? And uh, Mankey's disease presents with the low copper. So there is a hyperpigmentation because tyrosinase enzymes will be defective. Uh, so that's why we started with, uh, you know, this term also. That is called as a hypopigmentation. So there will be hypopigmentation. There will be tortuosity of blood vessels. You know, guys, why? Because the cross-linking of collagen by lysyl oxidase right lysyl oxidase is very important enzyme which is copper dependent and this enzyme helps in collagen cross linking like right? in the blood vessels for example hmm? so that is why that is the answer wilson's is caused by defective atp 7b right that is increase in the copper trichothiodystrophy is a disease which is caused by nucleotide excision repair defect just like xeroderma pigmentosum right gotchers is a disease which is sphingolipidosis Right. So, guys, everything is important. Huh? So, minerals and vitamins, another you know, the two things that we have covered right now and lipoproteins. So, I am just telling you the name of the topic which is very important, okay, for the exam purpose. Nine-year-old presenting with the symptoms of bilateral lens dislocation, skeletal complication and dystonia at the age of four years. Lab evaluation shows high homocysteine. Treatment with a high dose of which vitamin? can partially relieve these symptoms. So, guys, answer for this is pyridoxin, okay. So, cystathionin beta synthase, you know, that's the name of the enzyme, cystathionin beta synthase. That is an enzyme which is most commonly involved in this process, that is homocysteinemia. Got it? So, cystathionin beta synthase, guys, that is the best answer here. And uh, this is vitamin B6 dependent. So, most common cause of homocysteinemia. So, pyridoxin. 
Then guys, uh, folic acid and B12 deficiency can also causes high homocysteine levels, right? But that is not the most common cause, right? That is why we will go with pyridoxin, okay? Pyridoxin because folic acid and, uh, okay, folic acid and B12, they are used in which process? They are utilized in a process called homocysteine to methionine conversion. So, this needs B12 and tetrahydrofolate both, fine, by the methionine synthase. So, if both are deficient, this will not happen. So, homocysteine will increase, fine. But in this case, the answer will be best. We have to go for the best answer that is. One more thing guys that we have to remember about homocysteine is that which amino acid causes risk of heart diseases. So, that is our answer, okay. That is our answer. A patient presented with insomnia. Melatonin is a hormone that brain produces in response to darkness. Okay. It helps in the timing of circadian rhythm and with the sleep. So, this hormone is a product of the following amino acid. So, guys, melatonin. So, guys, again a question. What is the question? Question is products of amino acid. Remember, very important. Like arginine makes nitric oxide, histidine makes histamine, glutamic acid makes GABA or the GABA. Right, and then tryptophan makes melatonin and serotonin. Right, tyrosine makes melanin and the catecholamines and the thyroid hormones. Right, so these are the important products I told you each and every point. Then, guys, next is osteogenesis imperfecta is a disorder of uh, connective tissues caused by abnormality in the synthesis of type 1 collagen. So, that is also called as a brittle bone disease. It is characterized by high risk of fractures. Main amino acid that makes the collagen are proline, hydroxyproline and add. So guys, it is very simple. We always talk about glycine XY. Whenever we talk about the repeats of the amino acids found in collagen, it is glycine X and Y. So where the X and Y are given, proline and hydroxyproline. So what is remaining? Glycine. So that is our answer. Glycine is very common. That is 30% of the collagen. Okay. So guys, uh, this is in general about the proteins and amino acids. Which of the following is not a mitochondrial poison? See guys, instead of writing this question in the form of that which of the following is a inhibitor of ETC chain or electron transport chain. You know, I have mentioned mitochondrial poison. So that is one and the same thing. Okay. Even if something inhibits PDH like arsenic, that is also, Mars, uh, you know, the mitochondrial poison. So, which of the following is not? So, guys, fluoride is the answer because fluoride inhibits the enzyme which is present in the cytoplasmic enolase, right? Cytoplasmic enolase. Okay, so that is your answer. So, guys, let's move to the next question. A political leader was on hunger strike till death. His urine sample gave the following test findings. So, guys, as you can see in this test, this is a purple ring of Rothera's test positive, which is given by acetoacetate, but not by beta hydroxybutyrate, not by the beta hydroxybutyrate. Okay. So, answer is ketones in the urine because person is fasting, starving. So, you know, the these patients are regularly kept, you know, being checked because high ketones can cause acidosis, right? So, they are not allowed to do fasting for a long time, though it is a hunger strike till death, but it is it is actually, uh, you know, dangerous because it can cause keto, excess ketone body production. So, this test, little bit of test about the test that, you know, is in your notes, you should know about the test. For example, uh, if I talk about Benedict test, that is for the, you know, glucose in the urine, then or the reducing substances in the urine, then heat coagulation test for the protein in the urine, then uh, you must have covered M band in your pathosection, then uh, there is this test that is hero ketones, okay, ketone bodies, Rothra's test, fine. So, a little bit of test you should always remember. A baby presented with the rare genetic disorders that cause progressive weakness to the heart and skeletal muscles. On the investigation, glycogen was present in lysosomes. So, guys, they gave a clear-cut hint of a glycogen storage disease, which is having glycogen in the lysosomes and only one answer possible, pompase disease. Right, guys, pompase disease caused by the deficient enzyme that is called as acid maltase or the alpha-1,4 glucosidase. You know, guys, heart has four chambers, two atria, two ventricles. So, the name of enzyme alpha-1,4 glucose. Cities. And because it is heart, heart is affected, so pump is affected. So, pompase affects the pump. So, pompase disease is the best answer here because this is the correct hint. So, guys, I told you already that how to approach a question of 
GST. If muscles are not involved or if the question starts with that a patient presents with, you know, because they are talking about skeletal muscles here. So it cannot be von Gerke's at all. And it cannot be Hurst disease at all because von Gerke's and Hurst affects only liver. Then, guys, if lysosome has glycogen, only answer is Pompey's. Now, if the glycogen has a structure which is not normal, answer can be Cori's and Anderson's, like limit dextrin in the Cori's, amylopactin in the Anderson. Macardles and Taruis presents with the severe muscle weakness. Next question. A male patient, 47 years old, sought the medical assistance complaining about the progressive appearance of the grayish spot in the sclera and the gray blue papules on the palms and you know hyperpigmentation on the around the urethra he also complains of black semen and urine turning black so guys we already have the figure and urine turning black is a clear cut indication of the enzyme homogenesic acid oxidase deficiency that is a disease called as l capton urea which presents with all the features given here and guys, it is also called as ochronosis. Okay, ochronosis is the other name. Name of enzyme is homogenesic acid oxidase. Fine. And guys, in the management, we can give vitamin C. Clinical features are mostly related to the bones. Like the patient can present apart from these skin features or the you know darkening of the like uh, sclera or the palms or periurethral area. There can be you know severe back pain. You know guys, why? Because this. Uh, disease also causes the you know accumulation of this homogenesic acid in the joints fine so can affect bigger joints like spine or the knee or the hip fine so next question let's see this enzyme pyridoxal kinase pyridoxal kinase is an enzyme which is inhibited by the drug known as inh or the isoniazide so b6 deficiency caused by inh is based on this enzyme inactivity okay 18 year old female presents with the host with the chief complaints of abdominal pain in the upper quadrant right side that is hepatomegaly severe there was associated thrombocytopenia anemia so bone marrow biopsy revealed a histocyte with the crumpled tissue paper cytoplasm see guys in the exams you will get a lot of questions which may be bigger than usual so don't you know get disheartened ki bhai ye kya puch liye itna bada question maya kaise karunga just always look for a point you know always there is a hint in the mcq which is your one liner right so histiocytes with the crumpled tissue paper appearance that is a sphingolipidosis gotcher's disease name of enzyme is glucocerebrosidase so what's the name of enzyme glucocerebrosidase guys in the neiman fix disease you will find soap bubble histiocytes huh? soap bubble or the foam cells in the Fabry's disease, urine has Maltese cross appearance. Okay, Maltese cross or the mulberry cell, right? Maltese cross or the mulberry cells in the urine. Fine. Gotcher's has crumpled tissue paper appearance. Tay-Sachs disease has onion skinning of lysosomes. When you do the same, you know, biopsy, onion skinning of lysosomes can be seen there. Right, guys? And cherry red spot, don't forget cherry red spots, which are very, very important. Okay, a young male was diagnosed with familial hypercholesterolemia based on the LDL cholesterol of 300 mg per DL. Achilles tendons and thoma is also present. See, guys, the disease is already given and they are just asking the defect in that. So, very simple question LDL receptor deficiency. This is type 1 where the TG will be high. E2 expression occurs in type 3 where the remnants will increase okay and abc a1 defects causes tangiers disease with the hdl is low so tangiers orange tonsils hdl is low type 3 there is palm xanthoma okay palm xanthomas we have to remember and remnants of vldl and chylomicrons accumulate type 1 tg is high and milky plasma is also present so if you remember these few points that's more than enough most cardioproductive fatty acid among the following is see guys essential fatty acids and essential amino acid always remember we have very basic questions here now most cardioproductive is considered as alpha leno lanic acid nowadays actually oleic acid is also considered very important mufa monounsaturated fatty acid but you know going with the pyq and uh, the research till now you know guys fatty acid which are omega 3 are considered most cardio protective right so go with the option a right option a 
and guys if the option a is not given then you can go with mufa olive oil or the oleic acid correct so 47 year old male presented with a four year history of progressive neuropathy symptoms initially started in the bilateral lower extremities nutritional history include recent trial of gluten free diet he was not a vegetarian which of the following vitamin toxicity can be so there is toxicity and they are talking neuropathy so only basics is the answer now they have mentioned not a vegetarian that is regarding b12 but b12 has no toxicity right okay so b12 they mentioned this line so that you know there is no deficiency of b12 actually but we are talking about in the mcq toxicity again so answer is b6